the holder of judgment. In any city, in any country, find a place of judgment, whether it be an inn where a thief is being kicked out, or a court where a murderer is being tried. Ask the old lady at the back for her verdict. Nobody knows what she will say to this. Despite this, proceed upon her answer, and upon finishing, tell her that she has no bearing over you, and her opinion does not matter. If she disappears, you have done well, but if she remains poised in her seat, you must calmly leave the place you first entered, and do not pursue the object again. All attempts will be futile, and no lady shall be found. If your efforts have met with success, and the holder has left, find a person of no relation to you, and commit a legal wrong against them. She will not care what you have done. Hand yourself over to the law enforcement. Nobody will believe your confession. Tell them that you have come for her. They will guide you to a courtroom that exists only for your trial. The only person in the audience shall be the shrouded old woman. Do not speak or think in your time of judging. Remain calm, but center your gaze upon the female. If you do this, no reward shall come to you. No sign of an object will be revealed. But the second your verdict has been announced, she will cry and remove a sphere coated in leather and blood. Ask her for it, and she will hand it over to you. This sphere is coated in blood from the death and destruction humanity brings. It is coated in strong leather, for to prevent its being torn apart by human hands. Should you look inside the sphere, well, nobody has ever lived through it. After you receive the sphere, pain will pass through you that is powerful yet bearable. Stand through it and stay calm. Your time of judging has now been completed. Thus, you and the sphere are bound through judgment. The next steps must be followed carefully, although there are ways out of what will come. If not, your life will be followed with no danger, but a hatred for mankind. Go to the home of the one you wronged, and give them the sphere. They will hand to you a book containing words you must never spread. Read the book as much as you like, but never speak its tongue. Carry the journal with you, and answer to nobody what it is. If the holder returns, give her the book. That journal is object 1977.